if you're making the transition from drawing in AutoCAD to Revit, um, and you're dealing with projects that you know maybe for the most part uh, is just the entire floor is open to deck. So from you have a, a, a clear line of sight from the finished floor up to the the deck, which could be 20, 22, 25 feet in the air. Uh, but there are portions of the building that there is a, a mezzanine level. Uh, the way that I would handle that on my projects uh, with I mean the AutoCAD days was to actually go in and cut and, and, and move this mezzanine into the floor plan and then move the mezzanine out of it. And I had a couple of processes that helped speed that up. And the reason that not only I did that, but everyone I know did that was because so much of the design out here had to happen at a higher level. Uh, so we wanted to have a continuation of pipe into the mezzanine and then just show a drop to a separate lower level you know, below the mezzanine type of plan. Revit, you can't really do that as easily without editing the drawing in you know, another program. So the way you can handle that in here is to well, more or less put these levels at their appropriate elevation. So I brought this in at zero. We'll pretend that's finished floor. And in here, I've got the default level one, level two, and we'll pretend here that the mezzanine starts at 10 feet. So what I'm going to do is go to the second floor. Now, I can't see the first floor in here, so I'm going to have to change that just for right now. Then I'm going to copy this. I'm going to copy it over just you know some distance where I can see that it's clearly different. Now I'm going to put this on level two. And you can see here in the 3D that we've got one higher than the other. Now I might move this back if I you know, did this to some indeterminate length, uh, just where it was clearly visible. But what I want to do as well here you can see here, I selected the one at level two, is I want to move it to where this mezzanine is lined up with the building in its appropriate location. So I'm going to do this. In this case, it actually ended up being exactly where it was before, but nonetheless, better, uh, better safe than sorry. Now what I'm going to do is go into the range again, and this time going only to level two. And then I'm going to limit the view to just the mezzanine. Now going back to the first floor, I'm only seeing the first floor. And while that sounds like maybe that's where we want to be. Here's the problem. If I draw a piece of pipe and we'll say that maybe these pipes are at 19 feet because most of this out here, you can, you can see clearly from floor to deck. See here, we're not seeing the pipe I just drew. So what I'm going to do is go into the view range and allow this to see all the way up. But now we've got another problem. <laughs> we can see the base that we offset for the second floor. So I'm gonna right click and just hide this in the view. Now we can limit this view to just the main floor. And now we can go about showing the pipe routing. However, we were going to get down to this lower level. And then in this view, we can see enough of that pipe to see the, the drop down to the lower level and then uh, a continuation. So we're able to then, whenever we begin to make our sheets, Use this, and we're going to reference this here to here.
And that's how you can manipulate these uh, AutoCAD backgrounds uh, such that you can get your 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 uh, high deck views and, and 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 draw your pipe without any issues and have to worry about having to show a, a continuation of pipe really elsewhere that might be confusing.